guys, it's Doc Curry, and today we're gonna talk about what's next for LCID after it dropped over 20% this morning. We're also gonna talk about what's next for CHPT after it ran up 14% after hours. So let's get into it. All right, I just got back from a ministry meeting, and so we're gonna keep today's video short and to the point. Now, if you want a lot more information that I'm gonna cover in today's video, I wanna recommend that you go watch yesterday's video. Yesterday, I covered 15 different stock picks as well as a ton of market news. I also talked about the upcoming market correction and how to hedge against an upcoming market correction and actually profit during a market correction. And so I want to encourage you to go watch yesterday's video if you missed that video. So let's get into today's video. Like I said, I just got back from a ministry meeting, so I didn't have time to go through and do a ton of research today, but I do have uh, quite a bit of information on five different stocks and one cryptocurrency. So let's get into it. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I used to work as an analyst for some large investment banks, and now I analyze stock picks on YouTube. Every day, I watch hours and hours of YouTube videos, and then I consolidate all of the stock picks from the top YouTubers, and I put them together into a single video. I give you both the cliff notes on their stock picks as well as my analysis on their stock picks. Now, if anything I talked about today piques your interest, make sure you listen to who I say talked about that stock, and then go watch that video to get the full details on what they said. Now, all I ask for putting all of this together for you guys is that you hit that like button, subscribe, and follow the page so that you can get notified when I release my next video. In fact, I'll give you five seconds to do that right now. All right, before we get into today's stock picks, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I talk about today is a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold. These are just my opinions, which may or may not be accurate. Please do your own research before investing in any asset. Now, if you're wondering what you're looking at right now, this is the Weeble desktop app. Weeble is the app that I use for my trading, and it is also the app that I use in all of my videos. If you'd like to get two free stocks worth up to $2,300, you can sign up for Weeble using my link in the description below. When you sign up using my link in the description below and deposit just $100, Weeble is going to send you two free stocks worth up to $2,300. All right, let's get into today's stock picks. And first up is ETH. This is Ethereum. Stockmo and Larry Jones let us know that ETH is ripping higher right now. ETH hit $3,840 on Wednesday. Remember that the all-time high is $4,383. So ETH is getting very close to hitting a new all-time high. Stockmo, Larry Jones, and myself are all holding our ETH long-term. We are not selling any ETH right now. By the way, if you want to buy crypto and you don't want to pay the high fees that Coinbase charges, I wanted to let you know that I buy my crypto on Crypto.com. If you want to check it out, I have a link to Crypto.com as well as an offer for $25 in free crypto on my promotions page. Also, once you buy your crypto, you can either stake it and earn interest or you can hold on to it. If you stake it, Crypto.com has better rates than even BlockFi has. And if you plan to just hold your crypto, then I strongly recommend you transfer it to a hardware wallet so that it doesn't get stolen. I personally use a Ledger hardware wallet, and if you want to learn more about that, I have some information about Ledger on my resources page. And one final thing. If you ever see comments on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or elsewhere talking about, I sent this random person my crypto and I received more crypto back, that is a scam. Don't fall for it. You'll end up sending them your crypto and then you'll never hear from them again. Do not ever send people crypto that you don't know. Do not ever send people crypto that you don't know. Please, I've had people who follow this channel who have been scammed. I don't want you to get scammed, so please don't fall for it. And I really appreciate you guys on the We Profit Day and Night Facebook group for reporting the scammers. I have been blocking them and removing them, so I really appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into the stock picks. First up is CHPT. This is ChargePoint. They're the largest charging station company in North America with 73% of the total market share, and they are starting to expand globally. CHPT reported earnings after the close on Wednesday. Keenan Grace let us know that while CHPT missed on earnings, they beat on revenue by a lot. CHPT actually raised their year-end guidance by 15%. CHPT was up 
14% after hours on that news. Now, if you follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash realscottcurry or on Twitter at twitter.com slash realscottcurry, then you know that I bought some CHPT $23 weekly call options on Wednesday. Those call options should be in the money, and if CHPT opens at $24, then I will be up over 100% on those options. That's a good profit for an overnight trade. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to double my money every day, but you can certainly catch a few of these massive gains from time to time. If you want to know everything I buy and sell within minutes of making the trade, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Real Scott Curry. And next up is G-O-O-G and also G-O-O-G-L. This is Alphabet, also known as Google. Tom Nash let us know that Bloomberg released an article saying that the Department of Justice is preparing a lawsuit against G-O-O-G for monopolistic practices on their ad businesses. This is an antitrust lawsuit that is the result of a multi-year investigation. They plan to officially file the lawsuit by the end of this year. Now, it's just a rumor right now, but you might want to keep this in mind if you are invested in GOOG or thinking about investing in GOOG. All right, next up is LCID. This is Lucid Group. They're an American EV manufacturer. Now, in yesterday's video, I completely forgot to mention that the pipe investor lockup period ended on Wednesday. So a lot of early investors sold their LCID shares on Wednesday. That sent LCID down to $15 at one point. Now, keep in mind, $15 is pretty much the floor because that's the price that the pipe investors paid to buy into LCID. So you're not going to see LCID drop below $15. Now, these kinds of drops are usually very short term, so this is a great buying opportunity for LCID. I actually bought some short term LCID call options on Wednesday in anticipation of a quick rebound. Stockmo also bought some more shares at the market open for around $16.50, and Larry Jones did even better than that. He bought pre market for $15.39. By the way, if you don't have access to pre-market trading, I recommend you sign up for either Webull or Interactive Brokers. Both of those brokers give you access to the full pre-market and after hours trading from 4 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And next up is NIO. This is NIO, and they're a Chinese EV manufacturer. Stockmo let us know that NIO dropped a lot Wednesday morning because they reported their August deliveries, and man, the deliveries were way below expectations. The good news is that their orders were actually really good. They just weren't able to fulfill them due to the continuing supply chain issues, including the semiconductor chip shortage. Now, Stockmo used Wednesday morning's dip to add on to his NIO position. NIO recovered nicely during the day and finished the day down less than 1%. And next up is TTCF. This is Tattooed Chef. They are a plant-based foods company, and Jeremy with Financial Education explained why TTCF was up over 5% on Wednesday. Man, the stock has been ripping higher for the last three weeks straight. Now, first of all, volume was double the normal volume for TTCF on Wednesday. In addition, the call option volume has spiked significantly, which means options traders are expecting a big move up on TTCF. Now, a lot of this volume can be attributed to Wall Street bets taking an interest in TTCF right now. Of course, TTCF is heavily shorted, and people are trying to cause a short squeeze on TTCF. Now, I personally sold my TTCF calls for a 140% profit on Wednesday. It's not that I think TTCF won't go up anymore. In fact, I think it will continue to rise. It's just that I wanted to lock in my profits because 140% profit is a really good gain for one week. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and get a lot out of it. Comment down below what your favorite stock pick is. And if you're looking for a broker to trade with, you can sign up for Webull using my link in the description below. When you sign up using my link in the description below and deposit just $100, Webull's gonna send you two free stocks worth up to $2,300.
Now, if you're not a U.S. resident or if you're looking to trade OTC penny stocks or if you don't like payment for order flow and you don't mind paying a little bit for your trades, then you can sign up for Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers is a great trading platform. They have highly discounted trading throughout the United States and the rest of the world with trades starting at just one U.S. dollar, uh, one Canadian dollar, four euros or six Australian dollars, depending upon where you live. And both Webull and Interactive Brokers give you the full pre-market and after hours trading from 4 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, I do have material connections with both Webull and Interactive Brokers, so whenever you sign up for either one of those, not only are you getting a great broker to trade with, you're also helping me to continue to produce these great videos for you. Now, all I ask for putting all this together for you guys is that you hit that like button, subscribe, and follow the page. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and click the bell icon and click all so that you can get notified when I release my next video. I hope you have a lot of success trading, and I will see you tomorrow.